Good morning and welcome to BK News. Today is Wednesday, January 7th, and it's a B-Day. I'm Jalen. And I'm Charisma. Here's today's news. Attention all students, midterm week is approaching. Any students who has midterm exam conflict must report to their counselor by this Friday, January 9th. Only Ms. Brunetto and Mrs. Moon can help resolve these conflicts. Attention seniors, this week we are again ordering from Dinosaur's Barbecue for lunch on Friday. If you would like to place an order, please see Mrs. Grenier by the end of the day on Thursday. Cash only, please. There will be a mandatory meeting for seniors on Friday during first step regarding the senior trip. Any, any seniors who do not attend will miss valuable information. We will also be talking about our senior polos. We will be back after this short commercial break. Just the city school district students who ride the RTS bus to and from school. There's an important information regarding the new RTS Transit Center. Please pay close attention because their rules will be effective immediately on all school days. To enter the RTS Transit Center, you must present your student ID or have it visible on the lanyard. You must wear your student ID while at the Transit Center on school days. No orange ETS passes will be accepted at the Transit Center. Orange passes can only be used on designated RTS Express routes. All students are expected to abide by the rules of conduct, which are posted at the Transit Center. There will be a meeting for key club officers only tomorrow during first step in the library. This is mandatory as we need to plan and organize for the second semester. See you Thursday. All this month, the Builders Club are holding the fifth annual Give the Gift of Warmth. Winter clothing drive. <clears throat> we'll be collecting gently used winter wear, <clears throat> such as coats, hats, and mittens for the students of the Wilson Foundation Academy. They are in special need of red and black sweatshirts or fleeces. This is part of the uniform. The building is very cold and many scholars do not have appropriate clothing for the colder weather. So if you discover that you have outgrown your winter gear, please consider donating it to our clothing drive and give the gift of warmth. Attention all members of the National Honor Society. Today during first step in Mrs. Hatch's room, B213, all members are expected to attend. We will be making plans for our 2015 project, the blood drive, seniors for senior ball, and pennies for patients. Please arrive on time as we have much to, the, much to do. See Mrs. Hatch's for more information. Calling all student writers. Jiva Theater is accepting submissions for their Young Writers Showcase. To be considered, submit a play of no more than 10 pages. Carney alums Frank Bruno and Carly O'Gara have both been selected as winners in the past. See Mrs. Hoffman if you are interested in submitting your work. So have you turned in your senior quote yet? Yes. Me too. Cool. Yeah, so whoever hasn't turned it in, please turn it in by as soon as possible. Or else Sahim will be on your back, annoying <laughs> you a lot. We now turn to BK Sports. The next eligibility check will be tomorrow. Any student failing more than one class cannot participate in any extracurricular activity until they are not failing more than one class. Today's games are Girls Varsity Basketball versus Mercy at 7, and varsity bowling at Clover Lanes at four. So, so I want a triple double today. I want 33 points, 15 assists, 11 rebounds. You can get four blocks, three steals, and don't cause no turnovers. And for bowling, everybody better average a 300 by the end of the day. I think that's kind of impossible, but okay. Anything's possible, Charisma. I believe <laughs> that. What's wrong with you? Thank you for turning to BK News. I'm Charisma. And I'm Jalen. Have a great day.